Hi everyone, it's Femi Alanio here. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to short crypto on Binance Futures Trading. I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step guide and everything that you need to know. Now, before I go on, if you are new to my channel, kindly know that I have a video already on the complete guide on how to do futures trading on Binance. Now, that video is the best video you can watch to learn futures trading. The link to the video is in the description below. In that video, you learn everything you need to know to make money with futures trading on Binance even as a beginner but this video is only dedicated to how to short crypto on binance now before i go into the tutorial if i need to my youtube channel welcome my name is Femi learning and i make videos on personal finance cryptocurrencies and how to make money online so if you love content like this kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and please like this video so that more people will be able to see this video now the first thing you need to do is to go to your futures trading page once you've logged into binance so you go to your futures trading page right here now if you want to learn how to use every part of this futures trading page kindly watch the futures trading video i talked about at the beginning the link is in the description below now the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have money in your futures wallet now to check your futures wallet you see where the average is pointing to where you have 3.56 usdt that's where you see your balance in your futures wallet now i've already transferred my money out of the futures wallet to show you how to transfer your money to your futures wallet to transfer money to your futures wallet you can do it directly from the futures trading page now to do that you tap on where you have your balance and once you tap on it you select from spot to usdsm futures so what this means is that you are transferring crypto or usdt from your spot wallet to your usdsm futures wallet and then right here you select the crypto you want to send which is usdt and let's for example we want to send 250 usdt right here so i enter 250 usdt and tap on confirm transfer so you can see on your futures trading wallet you can see we have 253 usdt right here now before i go on with this tutorial let me make some things clear to you guys now number one is that shorting crypto is really risky now i'm not saying this to scare you or to tell you that you can't make money from this i'm only saying the reality shorting crypto is really risky for me personally i prefer to long crypto than to short crypto for me personally for example if i'm taking like 10 trades in a month seven of those trades will surely be longing while maybe three or two of those trades will just be shorting so whichever one works for you you can go with it but personally for me i prefer longing number two is that if you are not an experienced trader don't risk too much money trying to short crypto this is something i always advise people especially in my crypto trading course if you are a beginner make sure you are practicing first before you start thinking of putting huge amount of money to make more money that is what i will advise you to do and number three if you don't know what shorting means shorting means that you are predicting that a crypto will move down and if it goes that way you make money but if it goes up you lose money so that's a simple meaning of shorting while long game means that if you predict that a crypto will go up and it goes up you make money but if it should go down you lose money so i just want to say these things so that you can be clear on what shorting crypto really entails now let's go on with the tutorial now after you've transferred usdt to your futures wallet the next thing is to select the market you want to trade so you can see where the arrow is pointing to where you have btc usdt that is the market you want to trade but if you want to trade another market just tap on it right there and if you tap on all you're going to be seeing the different market that you can trade on the futures trading page on binance so let's go back and leave it on btc usdt now after you've selected the market you want to trade the next thing is to pick the margin and the leverage now if you come here to where the arrows are pointing to you see where you have isolated and where you have 20x the isolated is where you have the margin so if you tap on that drop down arrow it will show you cross or isolated margin now i prefer to use isolated margin and i always advise my student to use isolated margin because it has less risk than cross margin for isolated margin if you are going to a trade with like hundred dollars and you lose that trade you're only going to lose that hundred dollars but if you choose cross margin if you are going to a trade with hundred dollars and let's say you have like three hundred dollars in your wallet and you lose that trade you lose the hundred dollars and if it keeps going down or it goes against your analysis you will even lose the remaining money in your wallet so i always advise people to always use isolated because it has less risk so once you've selected isolated as your margin the next thing is to select your leverage so you can select leverage from 1x to 125x for this video i'll be using 20x leverage and once you pick your leverage you tap on confirm now the next thing is to go to sell right here where they are pointing to because you are shorting so if you are logging that's when you go to buy if you are shorting you go on that sell 
now once you've done that the next thing is to pick your order type so there are different order types right here if you see where you have limit and you have the drop down arrow beside it you see the different order types that you have now if you are selecting limit limit allows you to select the price at which you want to enter a trade but i always prefer to use the market because i always like to enter my trade when i'm very sure so if you are picking the market order type it means you are going to be entering the trade immediately so let's say for example you want to enter the trade immediately after you've done your analysis next thing is to come to where you have amount and enter the amount you want to use for this trade now let me tell you something the amount you're going to enter here is not the amount you want to drop to make the trade the amount you're entering here is equal to your leverage the leverage you're picking which is 20x for this video multiplied by the cost that is how much you want to drop for the trade so let's for example i want to drop 100 dollars for the trade and i want to use 20x leverage so 20x times 100 dollars that's 2000 dollars so that means you'll be entering $2,000 right here. I hope you understand that simple calculation. So let's say for example, you're using 30X leverage and maybe you're using um, $100. That will be $3,000 as your amount right here. And you can see the way you have cost below right here. You see, I'm dropping 99.6 USDT. So that's approximately um, 100 USDT. So that's the meaning. So you're just dropping 100 USDT, but because of 20X leverage, you're going to be trading with $2,000. Been learning something so far in this video let me know in the comment section of this video just say something in the comment section below and if you have not liked this video kindly like and subscribe to my channel now after you've entered the amount the next thing if you want to enter your take profit and stop loss this is where you can enter your take profit and stop loss right here now remember we are shorting which means we are going to take profit when the price goes down and we are going to enter our stop loss at a higher price so let's say for example we are entering at 19,525 which is the current price so let's say we want to take our profit when it gets to 19,200 dollars i want to set our stop loss at 19,000 let's say 900 dollars for example and then once you've done that you come here and tap on sell or short so if i tap on sell or short you see that i will enter the trade immediately now if i scroll up you can see where you have open orders this is where you have two open orders so you have your take profit and your stop loss and if you go to position this is where you can see your position right here now let me explain everything you can see right here so when you have pnl bracket usdt that's showing you the current profit and loss you are currently making so right now i'm already making 0.52 loss or 0.4 in usdt and if you come to the right side where you have roe that's the percentage you are currently making or losing so i'm losing 0.25 percent right now and then if you come to where you have size or usdt that's where you see the size or the amount you used to enter the trade i remember we entered the trade with two thousand dollars so right here it's showing you one thousand nine hundred and ninety one usdt and you can see the margin right here the margin is the amount you dropped so we only dropped 98.85 dollars and then you can see the risk is just eight percent risk that's the risk level and then where you have the entry price that's showing you the price at which you entered the trade so we entered this trade at 19,521 usdt and where you see mark price mark price is showing you the current price of that market so right now is on 19,508 USDT. And then you can see where you have liquidation price. Liquidation price is 20,408. If you don't know what liquidation means, liquidation is the price at which you are going to lose all your money. That is the meaning. So that's why it's always good to set your stop loss whenever you are doing futures trading. It is very, very important. So you can see right now the PNL has turned to green. So we are now making one or okay, is now 2.16 USDT. Now let me leave the trade running and show you guys in case you want to use the futures calculator, which I always advise people to use. Now to use the futures calculator, you can see where you have this icon plus slash equal to sign. You tap on it and this is the futures trading calculator. Now this helps you to calculate your profit and how much you can make if you enter a trade or where you need to take your profit. This will really help you if you are doing futures trading. You can see at the top, you can calculate PNL, you can calculate target price, you can calculate liquidation price, max open and open price. Now, let me just be using the PNL and target price for this video so that the video will not be too long. Now for this, since you are shorting, you come to where you have short right here. And then you select the leverage you want to use so let's say you want to use 20x leverage select 20x right here and then you enter the entry price so let's say we're entering this trade at 19,500 dollars 
remember this is btc usdt market and then let's say you want to take your profit at nineteen thousand two hundred dollars and then the quantity remember quantity is equal to leverage times cost that is the amount you are dropping so our quantity is two thousand usdt so you change this btc to usdt and then you enter two thousand and then the next thing is to tap on calculate at the bottom side of the screen so if we tap on calculate right here to show you initial margin is 99.45 that means how much you are dropping to trade and the pnl profit is 30 usdt so that means if you enter this trade you are going to make 30 usdt and the roe is 30 percent so you'll be making 30 percent and not just that you can also use the features calculator to calculate your target price you can say the target price right here target price means where you can take your profit so let's pick short since we are shorting so once you pick short you select your leverage i'll still leave it at 20x and let's say our entry price is let's leave it at 19,500 again and then your roe how much you wish to make so let's say you just want to make let's say 10 percent of your money you enter 10 percent right there and then you tap on calculate so this is telling us that if you want to make 10 percent profit with just 20x leverage you should take your profit at 19,400 USDT. So you can see that this will help you know when to take your profit and how much you can make if you enter a trade. So this is how you can use the features trading calculator. So let's go back to the trade we opened. So you can see this is the trade I opened right now and it's up by around one or two USDT. So if you want to close this trade right now, let's say it has gone up by, uh, let's say you've made like maybe $5, $10 or any amount of profit you are okay with. You just come here to where you have close position and tap on close position and then you tap on confirm right here. And then if you go back, you see that your money is back to your wallet. Now, before I end this video, I need you to know that before you enter any trade, you need to always do your analysis, especially your technical analysis, in order to know the perfect time to enter a trade, when to take your profit, and when to set your stop loss. This will really, really help you to make more money with futures trading. If you are doing futures trading, it's not a thing of guessing or predicting or gambling you need to be sure of what you are doing because you can easily go from 100 to zero in seconds with futures trading so you need to always do your analysis and learn more if you want to make money with futures trading and if you want to know this or you want to know how to do your analysis how to know when to enter a trade or take your profits you can register for my course the complete crypto trading course for beginners where you can learn how to trade crypto for profit and even make it a source of income for yourself you want to register for the course tap the first link in the description of this video below thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys